Hello and welcome back to the CodeMaven Docker course. Uh, this time we are going to look at the second uh, usage of uh, Docker again, still uh, something really small. We are going to use uh, BusyBox, which is a very small Linux distribution with uh, some basic uh, Linux tools. So we don't need to uh, install something big or download something big. Uh, it can be really useful for all kind of uh, things, um, let's say, teaching Linux on the command line. So we're jumping to the slides, which is on the CodeMaven website, where you can see Docker BusyBox, and uh, it uh, just commands on the on the terminal for now. So let's switch to the terminal and uh, see what happens. So we, we type in Docker run. This tells Docker to run something. Uh, I type in uh, BusyBox the name of the image, and that would run the the container created from this image, but it needs to get some command, so something that I would run on the command line. So I just say echo, echo, hello world. Okay. So what happens now when I run this is that of course uh, um, Docker will tell me that it can't find BusyBox locally, and so that's I uh, can't find locally. So it will go out to the Docker registry, uh, find BusyBox, which is in actually called library BusyBox. Um, and um, download it, okay, so it, get, it, it identifies was the sh uh, SHA and so on, it downloaded it, and then you can see it executed Hello World. So that's it, now it's just a small, really small uh, thing. I can also do something else, so welcome uh, to Docker, okay. So this time it doesn't have to download it anymore, and therefore it just uh, prints out, echoes this uh, thing. Of course I can try to do other things, so Let's try to do ls. So this is what's in the in the container, okay? Uh, inside the container, that's what you can uh, have on in the container. You can run all kind of other commands in in uh, Docker uh, in this busy box. So that's the whatever you would like to do it. Now, of course, you might want to use this uh, container interactively. So you can type in then Docker run minus it means uh, to run it interactively. Uh, so there's two things, I think one of them is interactive, the other one is to connect the terminal to your terminal, and then you tell, tell it to run BusyBox, you don't tell what to execute, because you don't want it to automatically execute anything, you just want to get into the, into the uh, terminal. So uh, I run it, it, minus it, okay, this is what I have here, right, docker run minus it, BusyBox. And it stores the busy box and gives you basically a prompt. So now inside here you can do the same things. Echo hello. You can run pwt pwd. It's local, so you can run ls minus l. You can cd to home. Okay, what's in the home? Nothing. Okay, but if you type in pwd, then you can see that you are in home. Um, what else? I have all kind of other things. Uptime. Okay, so. Let's run up, uptime just to show it. So uptime it says three days because it's my computer's uptime, not that of the Docker container. So you can do all kind of stuff uh, with, with this uh, image, uh, with this container. Yeah, the load average is really high on my computer. It's not the container, so it's apparently because I'm recording the video. Uh, you can get an exit and it stops, stops running the container. So now at this point, uh, again, we can uh, see, okay, what happened to uh, on the computer. So we can use the docker ps command and the docker ps minus a to see uh, the docker containers that are running and all the docker containers. So I'm switching back to the terminal and the docker ps shows me all the containers are running, which are none, okay, because all of them that we started and um, stopped, they are they're not running because they are stopped. And if I t give the min minus a parameter, then you can see all uh, the the commands that were running. So the, we run once hello world, then we run again with the welcome to Docker, and then we run it again with ls, and then the fourth time we ran it uh, without any command, so it defaulted to sh the shell. And then inside we typed in all kind of things. So these are the, the four uh, Docker containers. Now each one of them also, let's make it smaller. Uh, so and run Docker uh, minus a s. So you can see, wait a second, I'll have to 
it each one takes up a little play space it isn't it's, it's a zero bytes oh because it's it didn't do anything so it's it just whatever um it says virtual 1.22 megabyte i think that's what it says so i think you can you can even make it smaller and then maybe someone will see it so uh, it takes up some space on your disk and uh, that's the point so you don't want to accumulate too many of these uh, basically dead containers the containers that uh, ran once and you you don't need them any anymore so you probably want to delete them so just go back to the slides and to see how do we delete containers so you remember you can say type in docker rm and the id of the container which of course uh, uh, it's a uh, way too much work if you have a lot of containers so in the next slide you can see that there are there are a couple of ways to there are two ways actually to remove all the containers and i'm showing the older way uh, but it's still uh, interesting to see so docker ps minus aq will show minus a will show you all the containers and q will say quietly meaning it will only show the ids okay and then now if you have a list of ids you can do use this shell trick which is only works on shell on, on unix okay so it's on linux or or mac this won't work on windows the next command that will i show you will work also on windows so you can hear and i won't run it now because i want to have the container still there so you can say docker rm and then say dollar and this uh, ex previous expression so this will list all the uh, docker ids that you docker container ids and then it will get give it as a parameter to docker rm which will just remove them all so that's a nice thing it's a general thing in in, in unix uh, that you can uh, do these tricks but uh, since uh, many people needed this and many people use this trick uh, docker added a, an additional command it says docker container prune which will remove uh, all the con docker containers so i'll just show you docker container prune it will ask me whether i really want to get rid of all my containers or not i could have given the minus f flag so what you see here the minus f flag says force so don't ask me questions but here i said yes and then it will just remove the containers now if i run again the docker uh, ps uh, minus a uh, uh, then you can see that there are no more containers here so that's the first step with the the busy box and we'll go on and uh, uh, see more examples with, uh, with the busy box um, in the next video so for now just uh, stop for a second and uh, try the same things yourself because that's the way how people learn good luck and enjoy <laughs>